Good morning everyone, it's Pastor Tim Hammy. It is March the 6th and it's so good. We're talking about the, the, the end of the Circle Maker uh, series and we're talking about thinking long and yesterday we talked about how to uh, uh, think long as, and they built that to all those oak trees on an island and to build trees and well, we're going to continue on that with that think long, think in the future, dreaming what God wants to do for you. And so, if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to Daniel 12, 10, 12, and 13. It says, Do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set, set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God. Your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princesses, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to the people in the future. For the vision, for the vision concerned is a time yet to come. Can you imagine having a a conversation with your guardian angel? Well, think about it. I'll be the one of the most revealing conversations when we get to heaven, but Daniel got to have a short conversations on this side of space-time continuum. For some of us, it will be awfully long conversation, but, we kept, but because we kept our angel awfully busy. See, this is certainly true of Daniel. I can't help but wonder if they had a little side conversation about the lion's den. What about like the, all the angel angelic greetings? It begins with, do not be afraid. And, and, and when you think about that, it, it, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of what God's calling you to do. See, angels reveal the spiritual warfare that is being waged beyond the curtain of consciousness, the angel reveals the way, the way prayers are processed. See, Daniel's prayer was heard before the words even passed through the vocal cords. But it wasn't until the 21st day that it experienced a breakthrough because of the spiritual oppression. An evil spirit known as the Prince of Persia, Persian Kingdom, resisted the call of the angelic uh, Back, back up until the 21st day. See, I, can't, I think of this question, what if Daniel had quit praying through on day 20? Well, just like the Israelites who circled Jericho or Elijah who got down on his knees and prayed for rain. If you stop praying through before the breakthrough, you forfeit the miracle. And when you, when you realize that, when you come to this understanding that that you're praying for something. You're, you're looking to the future. You're praying into the future. You're saying, God, I need a healing, which is a future. Lord, I need the financial situation to take care. That's the future. And when you're praying, you're praying into the future. You're praying, thinking long term. You're, you're thinking into the future. What you may be going through right now, and you're saying, well, I don't really want to pray. I want it now. It's my prayer. I want it now. And God's saying, hey, think forward. Think what I want for you. Think what I, I have in plan for you. And watch what he does. Well, you say, well, I, I don't, I'm not sure about this. Well, Daniel, he, he had to wait 21 days for his miracle. 21 days. And you say, well, I've only been wait, praying for 24 hours. But he waited 21 days for his miracle. So my challenge for you is don't stop praying, don't stop pleading, don't stop going towards the, the you know, for the Lord. It's just like Peter, he had to step out of the boat, had to have that faith, and he had to keep his eyes on, on Jesus. And that's what we need to do as well, is we need to keep our eyes on Jesus in the situation that you may or I may go through. Well, let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person, Lord. Give them a great day, Lord God. And most of all, give them a, a chance to witness to somebody today. Share the gospel with somebody today. In your name, amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.